Geography of Chad Chad is one of the 48 landlocked countries in the world and is located in North Central Africa, measuring, nearly twice the size of France and slightly more than three times the size of California. Most of its ethnically and linguistically diverse population lives in the south, with densities ranging from 54 persons per square kilometer in the Logone River Basin to 0.1 persons in the northern BET, Borguenetti to Besci, desert region, which itself is larger than France. The capital city of Benjamina, situated at the confluence of the Sherry and Logone Rivers, is cosmopolitan in nature, with a current population in excess of 700,000 people. Chet has four bioclimatic zones. The northernmost Saharan zone averages less than of rainfall annually. The sparse human population is largely nomadic, with some livestock, mostly small ruminants and camels. The central Sahelian zone receives between rainfall and has vegetation ranging from grass slash shrub steppe to thorny, open savanna. The southern zone, often referred to as the Sudan zone, receives between, with woodland savanna and deciduous forests for vegetation. Rainfall in the Guinea zone, located in Chad's southwestern tip, ranges between. The country's topography is generally flat, with the elevation gradually rising as one moves north and east away from Lake Chad. The highest point in Chad is Emikusi, a mountain that rises in the northern Tibesti Mountains. The Aneti Plateau and the Wadai Highlands in the east complete the image of a gradually sloping basin, which descends towards Lake Chad. There are also central highlands in the Gara region rising to Lake Chad is the second largest lake in West Africa and is one of the most important wetlands on the continent. Home to 120 species of fish and at least that many species of birds, the lake has shrunk dramatically in the last four decades due to increased water usage from an expanding population and low rainfall. Bordered by Chad, Niger, Nigeria, and Cameroon, Lake Chad currently covers only 1,350 square kilometers, down from 25,000 square kilometers in 1963. The Sherry and Logone rivers, both of which originate in the Central African Republic and flow northward, provide most of the surface water entering Lake Chad. Chad is also next to Niger. Located in north central Africa, Chad stretches for about 1,800 kilometers from its northernmost point to its southern boundary. Except in the far northwest and south, where its borders converge, Chad's average width is about 800 kilometers. Its area of 1,284,000 square kilometers is really equal to the combined areas of Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Nevada, and Arizona. Chad's neighbors include Libya to the north, Niger and Nigeria to the west, Sudan to the east, Central African Republic to the south, and Cameroon to the southwest. Chad exhibits two striking geographical characteristics. First, the country is landlocked. And Jemina, the capital, is located more than 1,100 kilometers northeast of the Atlantic Ocean. Abesh, a major city in the east, lies 2,650 kilometers from the Red Sea and Fialarjo, a much smaller but strategically important center in the north, is in the middle of the Sahara Desert, 1,550 kilometers from the Mediterranean Sea. These vast distances from the sea have had a profound impact on Chad's historical and contemporary development. The second noteworthy characteristic is that the country borders on very different parts of the African continent, North Africa, with its Islamic culture and economic orientation toward the Mediterranean Basin and West Africa with its diverse religions and cultures and its history of highly developed states and regional economies. Chad also borders northeast Africa, oriented toward the Nile Valley and the Red Sea region, and central or equatorial Africa, some of whose people have retained classical African religions while others have adopted Christianity, and whose economies were part of the Great Congo River system. Although much of Chad's distinctiveness comes from this diversity of influences, since independence the diversity has also been an obstacle to the creation of a national identity. Although Chadian society is economically, socially, and culturally fragmented, the country's geography is unified by the Lake Chad Basin. Once a huge inland sea, the Pale Chadian Sea, whose only remnant is shallow Lake Chad, this vast depression extends west into Nigeria and Niger. The larger, northern portion of the basin is bounded within Chad by the Tibesti Mountains in the northwest the Enedi Plateau in the northeast, the Wadai Highlands in the east along the border with Sudan, the Gara Massif in central Chad, and the Mandara Mountains along Chad's southwestern border with Cameroon. The smaller, southern part of the basin falls almost exclusively in Chad. It is delimited in the north by the Gara Massif, 
in the South by Highlands 250 km south of the border with Central African Republic, and in the southwest by the Mandara Mountains. Lake Chad, located in the southwestern part of the basin at an altitude of 282 meters, surprisingly does not mark the basin's lowest point, instead, this is found in the Bodal and Jarab regions in the north-central and northeastern parts of the country, respectively. This oddity arises because the great stationary dunes, ergs, of the Kanem region create a dam, preventing lake waters from flowing to the basin's lowest point. At various times in the past, and as late as the 1870s, the Bar el Ghazal Depression, which extends from the northeastern part of the lake to the Jarab, acted as an overflow canal. Since independence, climatic conditions have made overflows impossible. North and northeast of Lake Chad, the basin extends for more than 800 kilometers, passing through regions characterized by great rolling dunes separated by very deep depressions. Although vegetation holds the dunes in place in the Kanem region, farther north they are bare and have a fluid, rippling character. From its low point in the Jarab, the basin then rises to the plateaus and peaks of the Tibeschi Mountains in the north. The summit of this formation, as well as the highest point in the Sahara Desert, is Emikusi a dormant volcano that reaches 3,414 meters above sea level. The basin's northeastern limit is the Anedi Plateau, whose limestone bed rises in steps etched by erosion. East of the lake, the basin rises gradually to the Wadi Highlands, which mark Chad's eastern border and also divide the Chad and Nile watersheds. These highland areas are part of the East Saharan Montane Zurich Woodlands eco-region. Southeast of Lake Chad, the regular contours of the terrain are broken by the Garam Massif, which divides the basin into its northern and southern parts. South of the lake lie the floodplains of the Sherry and Lagone rivers, much of which are inundated during the rainy season. Farther south, the basin floor slopes upward, forming a series of low sand and clay plateaus, called coros, which eventually climb to 615 meters above sea level. South of the Chadian border, the coros divide the Lake Chad basin from the Ubangi Zaire River system. Permanent streams do not exist in northern or central Chad. Following infrequent rains in the Anadi Plateau and Wadi Highlands, water may flow through depressions called Denaris and Wadis. Often the result of flash floods, such streams usually dry out within a few days as the remaining puddles seep into these sandy clay soil. The most important of these streams is the Bata, which in the rainy season carries water west from the Wadi Highlands and the Gara Masifto Lake Fitri. Chad's major rivers are the Sherry and the Logone and their tributaries, which flow from the southeast into Lake Chad. Both river systems rise in the highlands of Central African Republic and Cameroon, regions that receive more than 1,250 mm of rainfall annually. Fed by rivers of Central African Republic, as well as by the Bar Salamat, Baruch, and Bar Sera rivers of southeastern Chad, the Sherry River is about 1,200 km long. From its origins near the city of Sat, the middle course of the Sherry makes its way through swampy terrain, the lower Sherry is joined by the Logone River near Njamina. The Sherry's volume varies greatly, from 17 cubic meters per second during the dry season to 340 cubic meters per second during the wettest part of the year. The Logone River is formed by tributaries flowing from Cameroon and Central African Republic. Both shorter and smaller in volume than the Sherry, it flows northeast for 960 kilometers, its volume ranges from 5 to 85 cubic meters per second. At Njamina the Logone empties into the Sherry, and the combined rivers flow together for 30 kilometers through a large delta and into Lake Chad. At the end of the rainy season in the fall, the river overflows its banks and creates a huge floodplain in the delta. The seventh largest lake in the world, and the fourth largest in Africa, Lake Chad is located in the Sahelian zone a region just south of the Sahara Desert. The Sherry River contributes 95% of Lake Chad's water, an average annual volume of 40 billion cubic meters, 95% of which is lost to evaporation. The size of the lake is determined by rains in the southern highlands bordering the basin and by temperatures in the Sahel. Fluctuations in both cause the lake to change dramatically in size, from 9,800 square kilometers in the dry season to 25,500 at the end of the rainy season. Lake Chad also changes greatly in size from one year to another. In 1870 its maximum area was 28,000 square kilometers. The measurement dropped to 12,700 in 1908. In the 1940s and 1950s, the lake remained small, but it grew again to 26,000 square kilometers in 1963. The droughts of the late 1960s, early 1970s, and mid-1980s caused Lake Chad to shrink once again, however. 
The only other lakes of importance in Chad are Lake Fitri, in Bata Prefecture, and Lake Iro, in the marshy southeast. The Lake Chad Basin embraces a great range of tropical climates from north to south, although most of these climates tend to be dry. Apart from the far north, most regions are characterized by a cycle of alternating rainy and dry seasons. In any given year, the duration of each season is determined largely by the positions of two great air masses, a maritime mass over the Atlantic Ocean to the southwest and a much drier continental mass. During the rainy season, winds from the southwest push the moister maritime system north over the African continent where it meets and slips under the continental mass along a front called the Intertropical Convergence Zone. At the height of the rainy season, the front may reach as far as Kanem Prefecture. By the middle of the dry season, the intertropical convergence zone moves south of Chad, taking the rain with it. This weather system contributes to the formation of three major regions of climate and vegetation. The Saharan region covers roughly the northern half of the country, including Borku and Eti Tabeschi Prefecture along with the northern parts of Kanem, Bata, and Biltine Prefectures. Much of this area receives only traces of rain during the entire year, at Faya Larjo, for example, annual rainfall averages less than Scattered small oases and occasional wells provide water for a few date palms or small plots of millet and garden crops. In much of the north, the average daily maximum temperature is about during January, the coolest month of the year, and about during May, the hottest month. On occasion, strong winds from the northeast produce violent sandstorms. In northern Biltine Prefecture, a region called the Morcha plays a major role in animal husbandry. Dry for nine months of the year. It receives or more of rain, mostly during July and August. A carpet of green springs from the desert during this brief wet season, attracting herders from throughout the region who come to pasture their cattle and camels. Because very few wells and springs have water throughout the year, the herders lead with the end of the rains, turning over the land to the antelopes, gazelles, and ostriches that can survive with little groundwater. Northern Chat averages over 3,500 hours of sunlight per year, the south somewhat less. The semi-arid Sahelian zone, or Sahel, forms a belt about wide that runs from Lac and Sheriba Girmi prefectures eastward through Gera, Wadai, and northern Salamat prefectures to the Sudanese frontier. The climate in this transition zone between the desert and the southern Sudanian zone is divided into a rainy season, from June to early September, and a dry period, from October to May. In the northern Sahel, thorny shrubs and acacia trees grow wild, while date palms, Cereals, and garden crops are raised in scattered oases. Outside these settlements, nomads tend their flocks during the rainy season, moving southward as forage and surface water disappear with the onset of Fidri part of the year. The central Sahel is characterized by drought resistant grasses and small woods. Rainfall is more abundant there than in the Saharan region. For example, Anjamina records a maximum annual average rainfall of, while Wadai Prefecture receives just a bit less. During the hot season, in April and May, maximum temperatures frequently rise above. In the southern part of the Sahel, rainfall is sufficient to permit crop production on unirrigated land, and millet and sorghum are grown. Agriculture is also common in the marshlands east of Lake Chad and near swamps or wells. Many farmers in the region combine subsistence agriculture with the raising of cattle, sheep, goats, and poultry. The humid Sudanian zone includes the southern prefectures of Mayo Kebi, Tangile, Mogone Occidental, Mogone Oriental, Miyonshiri, and Southern Salamat. Between April and October, the rainy season brings between a precipitation. Temperatures are high throughout the year. Daytime readings in Mandu, the major city in the southwest, range from in the middle of the cool season in January to about in the hot months of March, April, and May. The Sudanian region is predominantly East Sudanian savanna or plains covered with a mixture of tropical or subtropical grasses and woodlands. The growth is lush during the rainy season but turns brown and dormant during the five-month dry season between November and March. Over a large part of the region, however, natural vegetation has yielded to agriculture. On 22nd of June, the temperature reached in Faya, breaking a record set in 1961 at the same location. Similar temperature rises were also reported in Niger, which began to enter a famine situation. On 26 July the heat reached near record levels over Chad and Niger. Area BR total, 1.284 million square kilometer BR land, 1,259,200 square kilometers BR water, 
24,800 square kilometers. Area, comparative BR Canada, smaller than the Northwest Territories BR greater than US, slightly more than three times the size of California. Land boundaries BR total, 6,406 kilometers BR border countries, Cameroon 1,116 kilometers, Central African Republic 1,556 kilometers, Libya 1,050 kilometers, Niger 1,196 kilometers, Nigeria 85 kilometers, Sudan 1,403 kilometers. Coastline, 0 kilometers, landlocked, maritime claims none, landlocked. Elevation extremes BR lowest point, Jarab depression 160 meters BR highest point Emikusi 3415 meters. Natural resources petroleum, uranium, natron, kaolin, fish, sherry river, mogoni river, gold, limestone, sand and gravel, salt. Land use BR arable land, 3.89% BR permanent crops, 0.03% BR other. 96.08%, 2012. Irrigated land, 302.7 square kilometers, 2003. Total renewable water resources, 43 kilometers, 2011. Freshwater withdrawal, domestic slash industrial slash agricultural, BR total, 0.88 kilometers slash year, 12% slash 12% slash 76% BR per capita, 84.81 meters slash year. 2005. Natural hazards hot, dry, dusty, harmaton winds occur in north, periodic droughts, locust plagues. Environment, current issues inadequate supplies of potable water, improper waste disposal in rural areas contributes to soil and water pollution, desertification. Also see 2010 Sahel drought. This is a list of the extreme points of Chad, the points that are farther north, south, east or west than any other location. Note, technically Chad does not have an easternmost point, the northern section of the border being formed by the 24 degrees of longitude. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.